Good morning, y'all. Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. Back out here on the blackjack. It's a weekday. It's a little rough, but had some free time. Come out here, and uh, we are going to be targeting some speckled trout this morning. I spent about 30 minutes catching some absolutely gorgeous baits here. Probably three, four inch, five inch croakers. Just gonna be free lining these baits right here along this beach here. There's a nice little trough, little drop off. And uh, that's pretty much gonna be the name of the game for this morning. We might do something a little bit different a little bit later on, but we're gonna get to fishing here. If y'all enjoy this video or if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Let's catch some fish. All right, we're gonna grab one of these beautiful live baits we have in here probably got about 15 or 16 here i mean y'all just look at that i mean if that's not trout candy i don't know what is we're just gonna hook this croaker right here in the anal fin just like so i'm gonna make sure our drag is set on this reel and then we're gonna get us a nice cast over here by this drop off little free line set up here gonna let that croaker do its thing hopefully find its way in a nice speckled trout or redfish's mouth there we go that's a bite he's on come on got him what is that got some good head shakes cut me off yet so it might not be a spanish uh let's see be a trout it's a trout yeah baby that's what we're looking for right there on the live croaker doker yes 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 let's get an old yeet action going on Arrgh. that is a good fish Good fish. That's a male. He is drumming. Look at that good hook set on that one off kale hook right in the top of the mouth. That's probably a 19, 20 inch fish. We're gonna ease in the live well here. I am gonna be keeping a few fish today. Get us another croaker out here. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than these baits right here that I've got. All right, get right on out there. And as mentioned before, we're just gonna keep this bell open and let that croaker hopefully find a fish, kind of do its own thing, make it look real natural in the water. There he is. He's on. Oh, yeah. That's got some good weight to it. Man. He thumped it. It might not even be that big, but y'all, they when they hit these croakers, they mean it. Love that thump you get on these croakers. What we got, what we got? Get another good trout. Whoo, yeah. Another good fish. Probably 19. I think that girl swallowed it. A little yeet action going on. Yeah, she swallowed it. It's a good thing I'm keeping some fish today. That's the only bad thing about fishing with uh, live bait sometimes is you might want to plan on keeping fish. I mean, she absolutely inhaled that bait. One thing you want to keep in mind when you're speckled trout fishing, especially in, in the summertime, is uh, you want to take advantage of the morning bite because whenever it gets hot, the water temperatures rise and these fish will just shut off sometimes. I mean, I've had days where you can catch them in the middle of the day, but most of the time the bite will slow down after that morning bite. So as many fish as you can catch in the morning, the better. And before I get any hate comments, I do throw artificial baits for speckled trout. This is not what I normally do. Um, throwing live croakers you know i'm normally throwing artificial lures soft plastics top water twitch baits but occasionally i do like to come out here and throw some croakers or live shrimp it's very effective 
And uh, especially in the summertime when these fish just, you know, it's hard to get them to eat. I love coming out here to the beach or wrecks or reefs or rigs and just throwing some live bait. And to be honest, all of my biggest fish have came on either live shrimp or live croaker, including the 28 inch trout I have on my wall came on a shrimp that big. Right there about 15 foot off the beach, got a nice little drop off. And that's where I believe those trout like to hang around to ambush bait and they will not pass up one of these live croakers. I guarantee it. If that croaker is in their face, they're gonna eat it. Oh, we're on, we're on. There he is. Another one. <laughs> oh, I love this croaker fishing, y'all. This one don't feel as big, but you never know. Got some good head shakes. Yep, probably another 19 inch fish there. Let's get this net, just in case. Let's see how he's hooked. Uh, he's hooked good. Not really worried if I lose any fish today, so we're just gonna eat him in the boat. Yeet! Oh, yep, that's a 20 inch fish we just yeeted. <laughs> Heck yes. So just for reference here, we're gonna put this fish on the board. That is a 21 inch trout right there. Good slot fish right there. We're gonna throw this girl back in the water. Typically don't keep any fish over 20 inches. Nothing wrong with it, just my thing. You know, like to let the big girls go and hopefully one of y'all or somebody else can catch it and it'll make their day as well. So here you go girl. Swim on off. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your croaker. He's gone. We got us a little bit bigger croaker here. Bigger bait, bigger fish, right? <laughs> Not always the case, but we're gonna try it. Very lively, very lively. That's a, that's a key thing, throwing these croakers. So I caught these on the rod and reel this morning. So I know they are super lively you know, sometimes when you get live bait at the bait shops, they aren't in the best condition because they were caught in a net. So anytime you can catch, oh, 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 good bite, good bite. He's on, can't even talk. <laughs> as soon as it hits the water, they're eating it. I think he took it from me. No, it's still on. Come on, come on. Got him. Fish on. As I was saying, if you can catch your own bait and get them really lively, you will typically have better luck. I think you just got shark or something. Got heavy. Nope, just a nice fish. Yeet! <laughs> Hammers! All hammers this morning. <laughs> she wanted that croaker down her gullet. <sighs> 20, another 21 inch fish. We're gonna let this one go as well. Appreciate it. Sending her. Sending it. He got it. Just grabbed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did he pull it? Oh, he's swimming to me. These guys over here on this boat caught one on this point over here. They were probably all over this beach. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> These fish are feisty today. Full of energy. That's a keeper. If we can eat him in the boat. Yeet. Oh yeah. Ch 
Chill out, buddy. Chill out. Chill out. Another nice speckled trout right there. Not too fat, but that's probably a 19 inch fish right there. We are, like I said, going to be keeping a few fish to take home and eat. Boom, already. Not even 10 seconds. Not even 10 seconds in the water. Just got smacked. Come back for it. A lot of times these fish will come up, kill the croaker, and then they'll come back and uh, finish it off. Just came back for it. He's got it. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all look at the bow in that rod. Y'all, these are quality fish right here. I mean, every single one of them, I typically don't keep fish this size, but trying to take some fish home to eat. This one didn't swallow it. We're gonna release this one. Nah, she didn't. Oh, golly. <laughs> Gorgeous, that is a long, but skinny fish, not fat at all. Another 21 inch trout right there. Bye bye. Thank you. That is not gonna last long here. <laughs> I mean, that is just like a little snack for a 20 inch trout. We'll see if there's any 18 or 19 inch fish mixed in. It doesn't seem like it. They've all been 20 or over. Try a little bit smaller bait just to see. I don't think it's gonna change much. Just got eight, just got eight. He's on. Mm. Just like that. Told y'all it wasn't gonna last long. <laughs> there we go, that's the size we're looking for. Right there. Get in the boat, get in the boat. Perfect. Perfect. This is probably about the eighth or ninth trout we've caught this morning. This one's sitting at about 19 inches. Here in Alabama, you're legal to keep six fish. Uh, one can be over slot. Our slot size is 22 inches. So one fish can be over 22 and then uh, six per person. So we are keeping fish. We're gonna throw her in the live well or him because he is croaking. The males will drum. All right, so I just took a little break from recording with the GoPros. I went live on my Captain Collier Facebook page for a little bit. So if y'all aren't following my Facebook and y'all have Facebook, consider going over there. I'm starting to do some lives here and there. Just a little more interaction with y'all, kind of make it fun. So we're going to try a white trout. I don't know if this is going to work at all, but we're going to put this white trout down. I mean, a big trout could eat it. Never know. <laughs> we'll chunk it out and see. Only one way to find out. While I was on the live, I caught probably seven, seven trout in about 15 minutes. One was actually a little over 22 inches, the biggest one that I've caught this morning. And so I've only, I only have like two croakers left, so that's why I'm trying this white trout. Oh, y'all, y'all, something just ate the white trout. Something just ate it. Oh, he's on, on a white trout. <laughs> it's gotta be a redfish, right? Or a decent trout. I mean, that was like a seven inch white trout I just put on the hook. Hopefully it stays pinned so we can find out. Got some really good head shakes. So that's a first for me. I've cleaned trout and found some big fish in their bellies. So that's why I don't hesitate putting on a bigger bait. Nope, just a big old speck, speckled trout. We're gonna net this one so I can show her off if I can get my net untangled. Come on, I'm, a, I'm gonna throw you back, I promise. Oh yeah, there we go. 
get her out before she gets tangled up. <laughs> Y'all, that is insane. This is probably 20 inch trout. Just swallowed a seven inch white trout. She got a good meal out of it. We're gonna throw her back in the water. I do have a limit of fish already. So she gets to go back and she's got a full belly. Bye bye. So if that right there doesn't tell you that trout will eat some big baits, no matter the size, I don't know what does. Well, I just realized I did not have my mic on for the cleaning part of the fish, but I do have it on for the cooking part. So as you've seen just a while ago, put some oil in the pan, got some Everglades fish and chicken seasoning on those fish. Wife is cooking up some noodles right here. We've got some fresh homegrown cucumbers on the plate. We're gonna put some salt and pepper on those. And I wanna show y'all something real quick. If y'all don't have a vacuum sealer, I highly recommend getting one for uh, you know, days like this when you've got a lot of fish and you know, you don't have people to eat it while it's fresh. You can buy this off Amazon. You can buy this off Amazon and super simple, easy to use. I like to pat the fillets off dry, get about two or three in a package. Just stick them in. Let's see, we'll grab three fillets, put them in there. Just like so, kind of spread them out. Bring it right over here to the vacuum sealer. Put it in, close it, and then we'll hit vacuum seal. That's what you want to see. You want to get all that air out. It's fixing to stop. Right now it's sealing. All right. Go ahead and open her up. And that is one fresh package of speckled trout. We'll probably do two or three packages. You can put them in the freezer. They'll last months and months, probably up to a year, depending on how good your vacuum sealer is. But let's go ahead and get this fish cooking. We've got to get it flipped over. All right, we're looking good here. Trying to do this one-handed. We'll try not to mess these fillets up. So you can either put oil or butter in the pan. I usually put butter in there, but for some reason I decided to put oil in it today. And we're gonna let these cook a little bit longer. That way we can flip them and they won't tear apart. All right, so I think these are just about done. I'm gonna see if we can get this off the pan without them falling apart. Perfect, perfect. That's hot. All right, so we got our plates here. I'm gonna try something new here. I'm gonna try a little bit of this Olive Garden light Italian dressing. Oh, we gotta shake it up. Kind of drizzle that on this fish a little bit. It probably doesn't need it. That was a little too much. Want some? Mm -hmm. So if y'all been watching the channel for a while, y'all probably know my wife doesn't eat fish. Here in the last couple months, I have got her to start eating few different species, scamp grouper, uh, she likes tile fish, she'll eat red snapper. I don't think she's tried speckled trout before, so we're fixing to find out if she likes it. That's 
She says it's good. <coughs> it's not as good as that tilefish we had the other day, though, is it? Yeah, I like that one. Of course, she likes all the expensive deep water fish. Let's get us another bite of this fish here. Could have done a better job, but it's all the same. Not bad. That Olive Garden dressing is a nice little touch there. Let's see if we can get some noodles to add to it. Oh, that's still steaming hot, so we might eat that a little bit later. Oh yeah. So what would you rate it? Six, seven out of 10? So she rates it a seven out of 10. I'd probably say a seven out of 10 as well. There's much better fish to eat in my opinion. That's why y'all don't see me keep a lot of speckled trout. When I do make videos, I just enjoy catching them. They're a blast. Had a good time out there today. Probably caught 15 or 20, over 20 inches. I'm obviously not gonna be able to put all of those catches in the video, but had a great time out there. If y'all would like to see any more of these style videos where I go out and catch fish, bring it to the house, clean them up, cook them up, y'all drop a comment down below. Let me know, I'd love to hear your feedback. We're gonna go ahead and finish this meal up right here. I hope y'all stay safe. See you back out on the next one.